In Dragonflight patch 10.1, we got a whole bunch of new mounts, and one of them is very grindable. You can sit and get this one in a couple of hours or a little longer if you're unlucky, and it's the Sea Thing Slug. This is one that you can just grind out right now, so let's go over how to get it. You want to head over to the left side of the map, the Z Zakali Caldera. This is the big molten fiery area that normally has the big missions around it, the big yellow elite quests. Around this area, you want to look for small fiery orbs called the, the Sea Thing Orbs. You need three of these. If you click on an orb, you get a debuff, and you need to click on three orbs to get three stacks of this debuff. Once you've clicked on all three orbs, you get a message telling you to go over to the Northern Shrine. Once you go over there, you've got the three stacks of the debuff, you click the shrine, and it literally just awards you the slug mount as easy as that. But if you're clicking on this video, maybe you're having problems finding the orbs, so let's talk over the problems you might face and why this can take a little bit longer than just that quick one minute explanation. So the problem with this is the orbs aren't always there. So when you get to the caldera, you can be flying around and might see no orbs, or you might see things that look like orbs but aren't clickable. So you could be searching here for a long time. It does help to jump instances to other groups, and you could also try turning war mode on for a fresh instance, but these are either here or they're not. There's no, it's not that you can't click on them, that you're miss, you're not looking for the right orb. I'll show them in the video a few times so you can see exactly what you're looking for, and they're always interactable, and you can always click on them, and they're the sea thing orbs. They do have like fixed locations where these orbs spawn and places like Wowhead in the comments. They've, you know, they've gone through people that have found them in different locations and you can, you know, I'll link that down below and you can forward slash way and try and find them. But generally it's easier just to fly around and look for them. If you just fly around, you'll see them. And if you can't find any, they're just not up in your instance. So what happens is the orbs will appear in your instance and when they're there, all of them will appear. So if you find one seething orb, all three have spawned and you should just get them. The first person to find all three and click on the, the shrine, that will take the orbs away. So you kind of want to get them as fast as you can. Uh, it doesn't matter if someone does that, you can still take your debuffs and go look for more. But yeah, as soon as you see one, start looking for the others. The, the orbs also don't vanish when you die because there's a lot of elite mobs around this area. But if you don't find an orb within the hour of the debuff, you will lose the debuff and have to start again. If you find the second orb, that will, uh, you know, refresh the debuff back to the hour. So expect to be waiting and looking for these for a while. You might need to jump around a lot of parties, a finding party. But yeah, once you've found one, just get get looking everywhere. But that's it. Kind of a tedious one with how the orbs spawn, but definitely one you can sit and just grind out in a, in a few hours to, you know, half a day if you're really unlucky. And get the slug mount, because it's, it's a super cool mount. But yeah, that's it. Quick video, how to get the mount. Take care. Uh, subscribe, like the video, comment something. I don't know. Bye.